Crypto prices lower today, but momentum has been strong this year. And now some of the biggest names in finance are making new bets on cryptocurrencies, adding competition and momentum to the space. Yahoo Finance's David Hollerith has more on that story. And David, nothing like a boost of confidence, right, from Wall Street to get investors bullish on crypto again. Right, Akiko, yeah, the, the, the big finance uh, player moves that we've seen in the last two weeks uh, obviously started with uh, BlackRock filing an ETF. Um, we also saw um, EDX markets uh, begin trading and they're backed by Fidelity, Charles Schwab and Citadel Securities. Um, and they're, that's a new crypto exchange uh, that doesn't interact with individuals, but kind of serves more like a traditional um, exchange. And then uh, we have Deutsche Bank also applying to be a, a to custody crypto assets. Um, and outside of BlackRock, a lot of these moves were previously telegraphed as far back as a year. Um, but obviously this came at a really um, good time, I guess you would say for the space, just given that you know, um, a lot of this year so far has the story has been regulatory enforcements in the US um, leading to lawsuits. And, you know, that's still a lot of, of what we're looking at to determine where things are going. Um, regulation, of course, in the U.S. Is, is a really big deal. But, you know, we've seen obviously Bit the Bitcoin price that has surged a lot. And then uh, the total crypto market cap has followed along with that. Um, and we've seen even just higher inflows into um, Bitcoin associated um, exchange traded products. So there's a lot of enthusiasm about this. Um, some of it, most of it actually was previously reported, um, but I, I think that it highlights, it's kind of a reminder that cryptocurrency hasn't uh, gone away as much as it might seem sometimes. You know, when we see uh, earlier this month, in fact, the SEC um, filing charges against the two largest crypto exchanges in the world. And David, to that point, at least up until this point, when you take into account the massive run up that we've seen in the price of Bitcoin up, what, about 80 percent year to date, it hasn't yet had a massive impact. But I guess you can make the argument that it's coming off a very depressed level after the implosion of FTX. But what do you think are the key things that investors need to watch for when they're trying to figure out where Bitcoin, where crypto is headed in the second half? Yeah, always a good question. I, I think it's fair to think about it this way, which is that um, regulation has really dominated um, cryptocurrency asset prices, maybe Bitcoin the least, um, but still Bitcoin has sagged on uh, bad regulatory news. So regulation is still going to be a, a major focus. Um, but as things get cleared up, at least I think um, with the BlackRock um, and e EDX sort of announcements, there's uh, sort of a signal that uh, you know U.S. Uh, businesses or uh, in or financial institutions, I should say, are still interested in uh, getting involved in the space, and I, I think that kind of brushes aside some of it. Um, that being said, you know, uh, uh, from what I've heard from uh, crypto hopefuls in Washington, it sounds like um, you know there are two bills that are uh, getting ready to be voted on in the House um, in July. And I, I've heard sort of optimistically that um, uh, the, one of those two bills could be passed in the House by the end of the year. Um, there's a lot less optimism for what could happen in the Senate. Um, and then that being said, the most important lawsuit, as far as the e ETF goes, is, is the Grayscale lawsuit. Grayscale is suing the SEC for not approving its spot Bitcoin ETF or approving a conversion of the, its existing product. So. Uh, the verdict for that case comes out at the beginning of September, and that's going to be really important. And, and we we don't have the exact information. We don't know, but it, it'd be hard to imagine that the SEC would even consider approving an ETF um, before that verdict is reached. Okay, I know you'll be following those developments closely. David Hollerith, thank you.